right click network button click open network and sharing center click ethernet 2 click properties button select internet protocol version 4 tcp slash ipv4 click properties button choose obtain an ip address automatically and choose obtain dns server address automatically click ok button click close button Click Details button. Copy the physical address and IPv4 default gateway value. Click Close button. Click Close button. Close all open windows. Open any internet browser, for example, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome. On your address bar, type 192.168.1.1. In the username and password, type admin. Click Operation Mode. In Operation Mode, you have three options to select. Select Wireless ISP. Then, click Apply Change button. Wait until the applying changes was complete. Click Wireless. Click Site Survey. Click Site Survey button. After you click the Site Survey button, you will see the available wireless network. Select the Wi-Fi connection that you want to repeat. Let's try CDR King 1. Click Next button. In pre-shared key, type the current password of your existing Wi-Fi connection. Click Connect button. Wait until the connection was successful. Click OK button. Click Basic Settings. Change the SSID or your Wi-Fi name. You can customize your SSID in any form. This will represent as a name of your Wi-Fi. In Encryption menu, you have four options to select. Select WPA2. In pre-shared key, type your Wi-Fi password. You can customize your password, minimum of 8, maximum of 64, in any order of alphanumeric. Then, click Apply Changes button. Click Back button. Click System S Status. If DHCP is displayed and has WAN IP, this means that you are now connected to the Internet. To check if you have access on the Internet, Try to open any internet browser, and visit any website that you want to access. Let's try CDR King website. 